Hi, I'm McGill Lind with AMD. I'm here with Edwin Ewan from Microsoft. And today we'd like to talk to you about some of the cool new features of Microsoft's Hyper-V running on AMD's latest generation server workstation processors. So in this video, we're going to go over what are the new virtualization features found in Windows Server 2008 R2 and Hyper-V R2. We're also going to discuss how those features work better with AMD virtualization technology. In Windows Server 2008 R2, we have our second generation of our virtualization product, Hyper-V. It builds on top of the existing version of Hyper-V that's found in Windows Server 2008. It's a 64-bit hypervisor that leverages on-chip hardware virtualization such as AMDV. Also included in R2 is live migration, the ability to move a virtual machine from one system to another without having to shut it down. I'm Mark Porath. I'm with AMD. Now on these systems is the latest Microsoft Windows 2008 Server R2 Enterprise Edition, which supports the Hypervisor R2 release. Now currently all three systems are running at the same level of process, uh, same level of BIOS. And if I wanted to, I could pull the, shut the machines down, pull the processors out of one system, put it in the other, and start it right up without a problem. Our fourth system is not the same. It is a different system. It is actually what we know today as our Manicore system. This is a processor that is going to be released soon by AMD. And what's unique about this processor is that this is a 4P system, so it has four processors in it. And each of those processors has 12 cores. Thanks, Mark. Those are very incredible machines, especially that, that Manicore system with 48 processors on, on one, or 48 cores on one system. With, virtual, with, with most applications, you can't really take advantage of that, but with virtualization, we can really load up these boxes and run many, many virtual machines to take advantage of all these different processors that you provide and are available. And so in this example, in this demonstration, we'll look at this AMD system we have right now, where we have four virtual machines running on this AMD Shanghai system. And on those systems, three of them are taking up a lot of resources on that box. But what happens when this box starts getting utilized so much that multiple systems can't get all the resources that they need? Well, what we're going to do in this demonstration is simulate that and simulate how Virtual Machine Manager coupled with Operations Manager utilizing these things called pro tips or performance resource optimization tips can migrate these virtual machines automatically from one system to another as the workloads on a box negatively impact those VMs that are running. So what's happening is the virtual machines running. If we look at the other two systems on this box, we can see that all three of these systems are being accessed and are taking up CPU resources from within that system. Virtual Machine Manager, through Intelligent Placement, looks at all the different systems within that cluster and determines which one has the most resources available, at which point it then migrates and chooses that virtual machine to migrate it to, and, or that physical de device to migrate it to, and migrates the virtual machine to that system. But I have these other older systems that I want to retire now. They're, they're old, they're tired. I have this new many-core system that really, I want, to, I want to leverage the power of the AMD box. So what I can do is I can just take one of these systems, like this Barcelona system, and I can actually turn it into maintenance mode. And what it'll do is it'll start migrating these virtual machines over to the remaining systems in the cluster. And I can start migrating off these older systems onto my newer systems, knowing that I can migrate them from one box to another. And what we just saw in our demonstration was the live migration on a single cluster between servers running different generations of AMD processors. And those live migrations were running because of System Center Virtual Machine Manager, Operations Manager, and the Pro functionality that gives you great insight and control on how those live migrations happen. And this is just a great example of how AMD and Microsoft are working together, marrying the software hypervisor with advanced hardware virtualization. And there's more to come. Uh, we'll be following uh, Istanbul up next year with the, our AMD Magnicore processor, in which we take you from six cores to 12 and beyond.